Hi guys. Well, we're back out here at the good old wood boxes. I got to move this box. It's got some water bellies in it. I'm going to show you how I take these off, which are actually pretty, really <laughs> more simple than whatever, and and transport these things up. I do like. I am liking these. I kind of don't favor these boxes too much anymore. Maybe I can push some of that. Uh, there's some water bellies up there. I'm going to hang you up there. Maybe you can see them. I don't know what's up there. You're looking at something that I ain't even looking at. Um, but uh, I just put those lids on with one screw. Uh, well, two screws. Get cold out here. There's just uh, I think I can get in here. I can fit through here. Might have to go on a diet. There we go. Hey, you can see the water coming off of there. Not too bad, though. Oh. Uh, but I'm really liking those, um, that style of roof. Now, theoretically, I should be able to just roll this up in my plan. Now that I got this uh, wobbly piece of cedar here, I think I'll put it against there and see if I can look up and see what you guys just saw. Uh, might crash on my head. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good sized water belly up there. It's not too bad, but we can just roll these up. That's a pretty decent looking wood there. I bet it cracks pretty good. Oh yeah. Now remember. This wood, this wood here hadn't been here, but maybe I split it in February. I'm not sure. But you can just, I'm just going to roll this up. Water belly and all. Now the water belly will go off the other side. Let me get my uh, thing impact, impact thing here. Now, these are not the racks that I'm favoring the most. These are some well-made racks. Don't get me wrong. You can't see. I, I just put these things on with two screws. Long ones. That's all that holds those on. Now they're three inches long, if you can see that. smart and I've never been accused of that. I'll wind this side. This side here is winding a little bit at a different rate. Ah, waterfall. You guys see in the waterfall? All that water would have gone on my wood. Just let it drain out a little bit for now. And for now, I'm just going to go set this up. It's supposed to be real windy tomorrow. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll put it in this thing over here. Now, in the front, whew, it is chilly. It's like 40 degrees out here, and it's windy, but it's not hitting me too bad yet. I put a, sometimes I put that big net like I showed in another movie here. I just put this, that's not very tight at all. Um, when I, I tighten this one up, look at that wood. I like to crack a piece and see what the moisture is, but I don't think I got the cracking stuff down here. And I generally put the bigger stuff down at the bottom and the smaller stuff up the top. This is too, this is too small. This is, uh, you guys, uh, what do you call it? 
campfire wood, boxwood, no, bagwood. I don't know, it's the stuff you guys that sell on the street. Anyhow, I'm gonna come into this. This is eight one tenths of a cord, or point, point eight tenths of a cord. So it's not quite as big as the last one I took up there. Um, it's, this one appears to be all oak. They're well-made boxes. They were made so they can't push, when the wood pushes on it this way, this can't blow out that way. That's just poplar there, so it's probably starting to rot out. But you can see, you use, see where the nails are starting to come out? That's why I've gone to all screws. But these boxes here were, they were real good boxes. I just don't care for them as much as that new updated box that I've been going to. Uh, one of the reasons I don't like it is because you go in there and you hit your head on this top piece. And I don't don't really care for hitting my head. I'll knock some of my hair off my head. Um, so that, that's one of the reasons. There's there's the two more down there. The bottoms in them are solid, which that, that's a mistake too. You don't want to do that. In other words, the planks are, there's no space in between the boards. This, is, um, this thing here now for the log lift bags that might get put on the back burner for a while I haven't quite figured that program out yet I have the maple that we cut up remember yesterday or on yesterday's video there's a whole bunch of maple logs there that's all cut up here ready to go I think I'm gonna split and hopefully I can get um, I think that might be a cord of wood um, and I have those two boxes up there. Those are the boxes that I kind of prefer now. We made a bunch of those in the summertime. The dimensions, they hold a strong three quarters of a, no, it's a strong half cord, like, like six tenths of a cord. They have nothing to hit over your head. Um, they got the spaces in between. I don't know if I, yeah, I put these, um, made these, made those to hold the thing, to hold it together up here. Um, so I like these racks a lot, a lot better. They're lighter. Um, you can see around them easier. I'll, I'll, I'll jump in the Bobcat and you'll see that you can't see where you're going and that's not a big rack. I'll show you what I mean about a solid base. This one here, you want it just wide enough that your foot won't trip in it. Now I gotta go down there. Ugh. Old man can't go down there. <coughs> we got a flat tire. I gotta get that fixed. There's no holes in it, it's just rust around the rim. There's O-rings in those things. See how these have solid floors? That's kind of a no-no. But that, um, it might get turned into another low-income housing. Those, those, this is not that, this is, this crate here is another addition. That's another addition back there. And it's like 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, or, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. I'm, I'm up to about 1.20. <coughs> I got to get this out of the way. It's supposed to be real cold tomorrow. Um, I don't have a jacket on. I should probably have a jacket on. All right. Let's see if I can't pick that up. And if I can drive it with one hand, I'll, I'll do it. But if I get going and I just can't go... Um, uh, I should have, everybody says get a helmet cam. Man, the way my brain flutters around, I might get hung up with that uh, cedar over there. And we got to turn turn the key on. It's, it's saying glow here. I don't know if you can read that. So it says you're not going to go while it wants to glow, which you could. It's actually warmed up. For some reason, wherever that sensor is, is pretty high. Uh, changes real quick. Now here's where I have the problem because I can't, one hand, one hand works to go. And the other one works, you can see the forks go down. So hopefully, on the other side, I don't know what. I 
I should probably get I think it's underneath the it's underneath the pallet I think so I'm gonna put this back down it might be hitting that um, I don't think I'm on the bottom of the pallet properly might be let's see what we do here that's got it nah don't have it picking it up crooked now let me go see what's doing on it yeah that's definitely not right I'm not a good equipment operator either. But I got a long way to go. Ugh. Long way to go. That's that's what the wood looks like now that's uncovered. <laughs> I'm still dragging there. I don't know where the forks are. That's why the racks that I've come up with have no boards on the bottom. Too hard for me to <coughs> get at the right spot. And it seems like this takes a long time, but it really, when you're, uh, Man, that seems... It's hitting something under there, I know that. Let's see if it picks up a little straighter. Certainly doesn't want to. Now I'm rolling it back. But you kind of see one of the reasons I don't like it. You can't, and this isn't even a big one. But I can feel it, it's heavy. But you can't see what you're running into. And I run into everything. And now it's a long, slow trip up to the boiler. I got whatever it is good enough that it'll, it should go. But you can't, it's really hard seeing where you're going. The other box that I brought up yesterday was a little bit bigger. This one's not really too bad. But I like not having those boards. We copied the way, um, the way pallets were with boards across the bottom. Don't care for it. Whoa, get too close to that edge. All right, now I gotta go up over this hill, the berm, my berm. So we're going tiptoe speed. Now I gotta go down, which you can't feel it. Maybe if you look up there, you might be able to see it. Now I gotta go up, stay on the woods line. Actually going slow. Ooh, getting away from the woods line here. But you can see how your 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 visibility in these things is not great. Not with a big box anyway. I know I got a tree up here that I gotta dodge. I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. You can see where I'm going to over there. There's the boiler building.
kind of a slow go here. And now I get even slower. You can't tell, but that's a heck of an angle right there, or downhill. See so yeah, the tree, I know I get around that tree, but now I gotta tiptoe really close. And I gotta lean this back a little further. Because I'm about ready to go downhill. And I might do a nosedive on this. If I do a nosedive, I'll probably drop the camera. There's the uh, wood in the shed. I can see the corner up there. Now I gotta slow down because there's another drop off here. So far I'm doing okay. Here's the drop off, which I don't know if you're gonna, you, you guys aren't feeling it. I don't think you're seeing it, I'm all right now. There's crates there. That's what I'm going into. up there I gotta miss. And now I gotta come down and see where we're at here. Okay, I'm hitting ground there. that wrapped up in the in the front normally I could do it a little bit better but I'm only using one hand we'll turn this off and now I will sit there today and get a little bit more unloaded Ugh. and I don't do this I think the la I don't even remember the last time I brought all that wood in um, here's what the wood looks like coming in here I put the better wood at the bottom the nice Nice bigger pieces. I put the oddball junk and trash up at the top. When I get some that are really nasty, I uh, throw them over and they'll go in the boiler for today burning. That's what some of this is. Oh, you know, I got a, I got, uh, I think my hatchet and accents. No, the moisture meter's down at the, uh, down at the other end. Oh, wood got wet from all the water just rolling rolling that thing back, but I don't think that's gonna hurt it. That's just surface water. Here's where we're at in here. I put some boards up. Um, when you get up to the top of this one, that's all, all the higher that I'll stack it, but um, that's uh, seven foot up there. You're, you're, you can't tell the angle that I'm, well, it's up there. And like I said, if, if you now for putting that stuff in here, like I'll come up on this bottom row here and just stop, and I can I can I'll stack it up to the top of there if I get enough garbage in here. The little things I this little stuff I put up the top because when I'm stacking up high like that, I want light little stuff up at the top because it's easier to get off. It's easier to uh, get down. And like I said, this is. This is the bigger wood. Now you see that black that goes along there? That's old creosote that I take out of the boiler. And I put that down. See it over there? Oh, this is not coming in too good. See the boiler? See that stuff there? That's over years and years. I just stacked the, stacked the creosote that I scrape out of it there. Well, I put that down in there to kind of deter bugs. That's all it is. It's creosote. So... If they don't like it here and they don't like it there, maybe they won't like it there. So underneath all this wood is just all covered with that stuff here. And then if you didn't see before, this is on, this is Trex and this is Trex. And because this is coming downhill, which you can't see my angle, but downhill, there's two, two Trex boards here and one Trex board there. And so I don't think the bugs will get in it. And then it also leaves air gap and keeps it off the ground. So it works out pretty good. 
or to me it works out pretty good it's it's the latest program and once I get it stacked in here I probably I hope not to touch this wood for except for an emergency that's all this is, is emergency wood so I have number three rack to put in and um, I'll just turn my radio on I got a radio over there and um, I'll close this door over there and with the boiler over there it gives up enough heat that it'll be warm in here we'll go take a look at the boiler I can take this back and park it because um, it's done for the day I, I, it'll take me all day to unload that and maybe tomorrow um, I might have the fastest wood splitter on YouTube and I might have the driest wood on YouTube but I'm the slowest wood stacker on YouTube if you want to see the fastest stacker wood stacker on YouTube go up and see Chris at in the wood yard he is the fastest wood stacker and if you want to see some good hard working old geezers go to War Wayne's World Garage this guy is they're they're just non-stop and they mess with big timbers all the time he's pulling some big ones out they're going to be sawing some uh, 16 foot uh, fence boards out of some like 30 inch poplars or something like that. I mean these those guys do a great job of sawing big stuff So if you like the old style sawmills, they got a herd of help too over there, which I'm not sure what that is but um, if you want to see some they, they do a real good real good job of sawing over there. And it's the old style sawmills, so it's it's not Lickety split, you know push a button like, kind of like that stuff like up in marks It's the old style where you just kind of one log at a time one board at a time and then a herd of people flip the log around so you ought to go um, Check Wayne's world garage out if you like sawmill and now if you like old power wagons He's got the probably the one of the nicest looking old power wagons on uh, YouTube he's got an old power wagon and um He's got a lot of neat stuff over there. Just just a beautiful garage. Every now and then you'll see him in his garage. He's a great machinist. He's into a little bit of everything like we are here. So I'd, uh, do me a favor. Go over there and hit a like button and a subscribe button for me. If you would for them. And, and if you like that and you know somebody else who would like that. Send him his, his um, coordinates. So anyhow, I'm glad you came along. This is how the wood pile is looking. And I ain't fast at it. Because all I got to do is get it done before the first snow. So thanks for coming along. We will see you later. Bye-bye.